Hi folks, David Creative Craft House to show you the shut the box and this is a we call it the 4-0 model. It really gives you some flexibility in playing the game. Uh, just let me go over the basic rules which you could do in this game. Uh, the object is to shut the box which which essentially means flip over all the tabs. Now you might be responsible for this roll of tab, row of tabs. You roll the dice and if you roll a six, this is a one, you can flip a six or anything that adds up to six. Now you keep going as long as you can find something that adds to your roll. So there's an eight, I, I flip the eight. There's a nine, I'll flip the nine. There's a seven, I'll flip the seven, but I could have taken the four and the three. There's a seven, uh, so I have to take four and three, and I keep going. There's a seven, which I cannot take. That means my turn is done, and I am stuck with the points that are left, so I have 10 plus 6 plus 2, or 18. Points are bad. Ideally, you would get them all. That's called shut the box. You have zero, and everybody else has to double their score for that round. So you see you have a four-player box here. You could just play it like that, um, where... Uh, and and you, I'm going to provide you a couple sets of rules, and this is one way to do it. Well, you're playing uh, one, uh, two, three, or four people, and when it's your turn, you roll the dice, and if you roll the nine, you take your nine and then pass it to the next person who would play this row, and the next person would play this row, and the next person would play this row. Uh, you don't have to have four people, of course. Now, what I, what I also recommend is when you're playing with... Um, uh, no, no matter how many people, that at the end of a round, when everybody's played once, that um, someone throws the dice and everybody has to take that roll. It just makes it more interesting. You keep playing rounds until either you have uh, gotten stuck, like I just did earlier, with some number of points, and everybody else continues, or you have got them all. But everybody else gets to continue until they either, either get them all or get stuck. So that's one way to do it. Now another way to do it, which is kind of fun for, for two to four people, is that, is that um, the goal, and you can even play with one person, the goal is to uh, shut the entire box. Now in this case, everybody would take their turn in its entirety and get a score, and then pass the game to the next person. So let's suppose I'm, I'm my, my turn, I want to shut the box. I would roll the dice and I'd roll a six. Now, I can take a six anywhere. I could take a six here. I could take a five here and a one here. Anything that adds up to six, and I would continue. Now, obviously, this, game, this is going to go on for quite a while. But it can, can be quite effective when you're, when you're dealing with youngsters, perhaps homeschoolers, perhaps at school. Where it's just, just in order to finish the game, there's just a lot of math they have to do you can bump it up one step higher and that being you have to multiply the dice let's suppose I roll a six and a four the target number become, becomes six times four or twenty four now I have to move up to the tabs and roll over combinations of things that add up to twenty four so obviously more difficult you have to multiply and you've got bigger target numbers uh, much of the time so a 24, I might take a, uh, I could just deal in one row, and, you know, a 10 and a 9 is 19, and then a 5 is uh, 24. Okay, or I might take the 5 over here. It really depends what's left on the board. As the game progresses and there's fewer numbers left, now if I have, now if I have to take a 24, I've got to think maybe a little more. Uh, so maybe 9 and 8 is... Uh, set 17, and I need 7 more, and here's a 7 over here, something along. Okay, and you keep going until you get stuck, add up all the points that are left, that's your score, or you get them all. And then pass the game to the next person. Okay, these are, um, these are nice, uh, these are rubber wood, the game's made of rubber wood, little felt liner. And uh, I've laser engraved these numbers here, it's not paint, so it's going to be quite, uh, quite, last a long time. Alright, hope you can enjoy. Thanks very much. David Creative Craft House.